Marcus Lovett's first jump would be slightly less difficult, but only slightly. It's to be a triple somersault again, but with not quite such a complicated sequence of twists. He lands it beautifully, and you get the impression, don't you, that these boys know instinctively when they've nailed it. Okay, the Aussie's turn again. He's in sixth place in the field of 14 after his first jump. The judges are now ready for Marcus Lovett from Australia. Well, it looked good to me, but obviously Marcus is a little bit disappointed with that less than perfect landing. In fact, it would push him down to 10th place in the final standings. It looks like, it looks like somebody jumping out of a low-flying aircraft without a parachute to me. <laughs> well, it's the same sensation. It's a good feeling of flying. Yesterday, George, there was just a multitude of people on the mountain. This is Marcus. He finished 10th overall in competition. And this is what, this is his first leap. Is that right, Marcus? Uh, my second jump. Second jump? Wasn't what you wanted. No, I touched down on the landing hill there. Yeah. It's France against Australia as the team quarterfinals continue from Acapulco. It's another beautiful Acapulco afternoon for the International Cliff Diving Championship where the quarterfinals continue. France against Australia from the El Mirador Hotel. Now, obviously, no one here is thinking about snow, but our next competitor, Marcus Lovett of Australia, used to be a freestyle aerial skier, triple twisting quadruple somersaults. This must be easy compared to that. I guess he'd normally do this with skis on his feet, All right, nice effort. You know, there were, and you gotta like his, his uh, ability to even get up there and do this backwards for crying out loud. But there are a lot of flaws here, Marcus. You're supposed to go in the water with your arms by your side, not over your head. And uh, the judges certainly are not going to give him very good marks for that. And uh, you might notice one other thing. The judges profile view, you're supposed to see just the side of the body. He over twists this. Watch him turn on entrance. He is turning toward us. The judges will take off for that too. So I'm not going to see very high scores here for Marcus's dive. You see the front of the body, the side, the back, but you also see a big smile from Marcus Lovett as he emerges from the water with a score of 62.7. Getting ready at the top is Australian Marcus Lovett. Lovett is now a veteran, but like just about every diver, he has vivid memories of the very first time he stood at the top here in Acapulco. And looking down the, over the ocean at the other side, and I'm just going, oh my gosh, what am I doing here? This is, no, this is out of my league. And then I thought, well, I can't say no. <laughs> I can never say no. So it's like, all right. I had like about 15, 20 minutes to psych myself up. And then by the time I climbed down to the perch, that they said I could die from. I looked down and went, ah, oh, what was I panicking for? But you do have to push out a long way and that's the scary part about here. Well, Lovett is going to do a forward double somersault with a half twist and pushing out is very important for this dive. All right, Marcus did a good, a good dive but he's going to, and he, he likes it. He knew he was straight up and down and safe. But he's going to get some scores that are not going to reflect as good as it could have been because of his arms. Nice position right here, but watch. His arms never get by his side. 
See how they are over his shoulders a bit as it goes in? There's going to be some interesting scores come off of this, because other than that, the dive was very good. A 65 or better will be needed. A 93.5, as you said, interesting scores between 5 and 8, but Australia has the lead. Hi and welcome to the snow show. This is the show about snow. This is the show about all the adventures you can have on snow. Even if you've never been to the snow before, check out this big wide open, fairly gentle slope. You can learn how to ski and snowboard so easily. This is the show about snow. More importantly, it's about all the fun, passion and inspiration that comes from the world of snow. Skiing in Japan is pretty much like skiing anywhere in the world. You don't really need to understand the language to get around the slopes. Oh, I hope that sign isn't important. Bardanekia is one of the many resort towns along Val de Susa that hosted the Turin 2006 Olympic Winter Games. That's it for the show for this week. And do you get the feeling as we walk through the streets of Maseko that it snows a lot here in Hokkaido? <laughs> So tune in next week for some more deep powder snow in Japan, plus we'll take you to False Creek, Victoria. And if you've seen anything in this show and you'd like to know more about it, head to our website. Snowshow.tv. Till next time, keep the spirit. Bye for now.